Hey guys, I'm GML Waffle, and today we're going to be talking about stacks. So you're probably wondering, what's a stack? Well, basically, a stack is a data structure that can be used for storing things like inventory spaces, strings, variables, anything in between. Alright? So the way a stack works is it's a first-in, last-out data structure. Basically what this means is say you had three blocks, block one, two, and three. Alright, so you stack those blocks up on top of each other in the order of one, two, three. So since you've got one at the bottom, the easiest way to take it apart would be going three, two, one. That's a first in, last out. Since you put the first block in at the bottom, it's going to be the last one to be taken out. Alright, so now that we have that little explanation as to what a stack is, out of the way, we can go ahead and jump into creating your first stack. So I've got an object here and we're going to name it obj underscore my stack. All right. Now we want to add a create event and put some code in it. And inside your create event, we're going to create the stack. So we're going to call it my stack equals ds underscore stack underscore create. What this does is it initializes your stack and assigns it to my stack. All right, so now that we have that, we can add some things to our stack. So in order to add things to your stack, the terminology is a little bit weird. So to add things, you're going to say ds underscore stack underscore push because you're pushing them into your stack. Imagine it like a bag, OK? You're going to shove things into your bag, a pencil, a pen, and some paper and take them out, you've got your paper, and I can't remember the order that I said that in, but you get the point. All right, so DS stack push, and we're gonna call up on my stack, and our value is just going to be a string for now. So we're gonna call this first, since it's the first object that's being pushed into our stack. So we can go ahead and copy this, and paste it down twice. We'll call this one second, and appropriately this one third. All right, so we need to add one more variable to this in order to see our stack. There are many ways you can go about retrieving the data from your stack, but for the simplicity of this tutorial, we're just going to be drawing it as text on the screen. So we're gonna create a variable called draw text, and we're just gonna set it to empty right now, okay? So we're done in the create event. Now what we need to do is add a destroy event and some code and we're gonna say ds stack destroy my stack basically you want to add this just as a safety precaution um, stacks are a data structure and data structures can be very easily corrupted okay so what I mean by that is you could have memory leaks and that would cause your game to run slower or even crash. So when you're done using a stack, always be sure to destroy it. All right, so we're done with the destroy event. Now we're going to add a step event and some code. All right, so this is where we actually push our values onto the screen and draw them. So we're going to say if keyboard check pressed bk underscore space and in here is where all the magic is actually going to happen so we're gonna say if not ds stack empty my stack and what this is gonna do is it's gonna check to make sure that the stack isn't empty and if it's not empty we are going to set draw text equal to ds stack pop my stack. All right, so ds stack pop. What ds stack pop does is it gets and retrieves the value from your stack. So push pushes it into the bag, pop pulls it back out, okay? And then we need to add an else statement. And within this, we need to say draw text equals no more. 
So what this is going to do is it's going to basically say once DS stack is actually empty and we don't have any more, we don't have our first, second, or third objects that we pushed through, it's going to say no more. All right, so we're done with that. Now what we need to do is actually add a draw event to actually draw our text to the screen. So in the draw event, we're just going to say draw text at our X and Y positions. And, oh yeah, I need a comma. Okay, and then we're going to say it's a string in our variable draw text. All right, so there you have it. That is basically how you create and manage your stack. We need to add our object to a room real quick. And then we can go ahead and hit play. All right, so there's nothing on the screen at the moment. That's because if you remember, we set draw text equal to an empty string. So there's nothing there yet. But when we hit space, we get third. We took the top block off hit space again, second, took off the second block, and again, first, because we're down to the last block. So if we hit space again, no more. We've got no more. Does nothing after that. All right, so there you have it. That is a basic tutorial on stacks. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, comment what you thought down below, and some suggestions for future videos. Don't forget to subscribe for those future videos, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.